How's it going guys? Dre here and today we're gonna be checking out Salary Man Escape for VR. Now Salary Man Escape is a puzzle game about helping a disgruntled salary man escape his miserable life by helping him through six chapters and 78 physics focused levels. This game is available on Steam as both VR and non-VR and on PlayStation VR. I want to quickly thank Oasis Games for sponsoring this video. If you want to know anything more about Salary Man Escape, there will be two links at the top of the video description. Now let's get into it and check out Salary Man Escape. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are in Salary Man. Now, uh, I did play a lot of the levels, but we're going to go back to the start, and uh, I want to show you some of the easier levels, some of the medium and then hopefully we can get to some of the hard as well. So I believe, yes, this is the beginning right here. Uh, each one of these little dots that you see are all different levels that we can do. We are going to start off at the beginning and see what Salary Man is all about. Speaking of the Salary Man himself, there he is with his little briefcase. And uh, step one, use motion controller to touch the red brick. Okay, well, you know what we got to do here? We got to pull this sucker out. And the whole goal is to get from the Salary Man from point A to point B. Now, there's more to it than just that. Uh, obviously, the first level is going to be extremely easy. Let's move on to something. Yeah, you know what? Le level four sounds good. Good old laughter. Okay, and as you can see, it progressively gets much, much harder. You can cr control the whole level here if you are in VR. You can play this in non-VR, by the way, too. Uh, so what we have to do, like I said, is get the salary man a line of sight to the door. Now, sometimes there's also a coin. I don't think... There's a coin on this level, and what those coins do, from what I understand, is unlock, uh, like, secret levels. So I don't see any on this level, so we're going to, uh, simply move these things, and I think that's all we need to do is just, yeah, move these things into place, and once he sees a way to get to the door, he's gonna go over there and do so. So there we go. Okay, so that was level four. What do we got? Friday. Uh, you know what? Let's try transgressions level seven. Let's try that. So obviously, I'm giving you a crash course into this game. Uh, these get progressively harder, as you can probably tell. Now, you can see we have coffee cups here. We have to get all the coffee cups. At least I think we have to get all the coffee cups before we get to the end. Usually, the coffee cups are in the way anyways. So I'm seeing that we have lots of platforming to do here. So let's start off by, um, well, obviously getting this platform down. So we got to keep an eye on these blocks, too, because these might drop other things down. So... Looks like these ones are all good. Now this one, this is a longer one. I don't know, I don't, I, I've done this level before, but I don't remember what that long one did. So hopefully we don't need that. Looks like it, it's simple enough. We just gotta make all, our way up to the top. Whoops, wrong button there. So we're just gonna move this down, get him his second coffee of the day. Now we have to uh, basically make a, a ramp for him here. I, ooh, I wonder. Okay, I think I actually maybe need that. Now, this is a physics-based game, so you can sometimes play with it and try and see if you can get it over there, which is what I'm doing right now. I don't know if this is going to be uh, doable, though. I can maybe slide it and get really lucky. I love that the door bounces. I wonder if you could, like, knock the door off the map. All right, that one's totally done, so we're going to have to restart. Uh, I think that long red block is what we need. All right, actually, yeah, you can actually... Whoa, it's open. Okay, so I just moved these out. I didn't notice that the red block, if you look over here, is and has this whole platform attached to it. So I think maybe now that we've lowered it down a little bit, is that floating? Oh, it's because of the uh, big middle block here. So there we go. And he's going up and going through. So there we go. Hard work is provocative. Harder work is transgressive. So yes, that one was a little bit of a rough one. Had a little bit of a stumble there, but uh, wasn't too bad. Now Friday... I believe Friday... No, Friday's actually lower than Transgression. So let's go to, like, kind of the end kind of levels. Restraint. I don't think I've done this one. So here we go. What do we got? Okay, finally we got a coin. So we have to... Well, there's an option to get the coin. You don't need to get the coins, but I'm definitely going to try and do it. So looking at kind of how we're going to need to do that, we need to put... I think what we need to do... Well, no, because that... I don't know if you could grab it while it's in the block. I doubt it. So what if we... Literally build. Can I put that in there? Get in there, little guy. There we go. Uh, so what if... Can we actually... Yeah, we can totally do this. There we go. That should work just like that. Now, if we move this out of the way... Are you going to go get that? Oh, that's a problem. Oh, uh, you know what? It's probably... I only have one piece going to this length. Oh, it locks in the place, though. Can I pull that? Okay, so I think I know... 
We have that now. So we know that this piece over here can be built perfectly here. So I'm going to restart. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to go for the coin here. This is a really difficult one. We still have this block up here, though. So I'm wondering, maybe there's something with that block. Now, I don't need all the blocks. That's for damn sure. So we're going to drop this one out. There we go, and see the problem is to get this block in there, I need to move this. I guess I could technically move that though, and move this like so, and like so. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Somewhere's good. All right, this one, you know what, get rid of this. He can get the coin. Get the coin, buddy, get the coin. Problem is now he's stuck. Wait, no, we just gotta do this. Whoa, no, then, okay, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. Uh, this is a physics-based game, so what we're gonna want to do is slide this. Be very careful. And it doesn't have to be the perfect way up, as long as it's a way up. Oh, come on, is that really... Is it... Is it really because that little hole there? Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if that's what screwed me up here. Wait, wait, what if I just... Hold my horses, Jesus. What if I just pull this out, and if I can see it right... We're gonna very slowly, yes, pull this in. Come on, let me see that line, buddy. Are you, yes, there we go. Holy crap. A stop clock is right twice every day. I guess that's true. A stop clock is right twice every day. It's still somewhat convenient. All right, so I think that was a good crash course into episode one. Now I have unlocked episode two. So we're gonna head over to the balance club and um, yeah, start with this one. So. We want to start at the start with good old rules, because rules are important. And it looks like every episode is going to have different types of levels. So this one, way more physics focused. We have these uh, rotating platforms here that we have to utilize. So this one should be pretty easy. We just got to uh, weigh this thing less than what the man's weighed. And there we go. All right, and moving on, we have President. Now, this one, let's see what we got going on here. So we have, obviously, two rotating platforms. Well, four, to be more specific. What I'm going to want to do is drop this guy down, obviously. So let's get that going first. Is he really? Okay, he's I, he's lighter than I thought he was. So that should work like that. Now, what happened? Well, let's just try it. Well, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt, buddy! Never mind. You have an impressive noggin, my friend. Okay, but that made me realize something. We have this little notch here that fits this perfectly. So... That makes me think that we have to utilize that somehow. Actually, you know what? That makes perfect sense. We have to lure him over to the coffee, and that's like a safe zone, because we have this cutout here that he can totally rotate up with. So I think we are on, we are on the right track there. Totally on the right track. Once again, we're going to do that. This time, hopefully he goes and gets his coffee. Oh, it's so simple. Why did I not think of this? There you go. <laughs> Okay, now we can get rid of those things, and my god, that was simple. It's hard when you're looking at it, though, until you see the solution, and it's just so obvious. But yeah, there we go. We did that one. All right, and down to promotion. Now, this is as far as I've gotten, and uh, yeah, now we are really physics-focused. So we have uh, two Ferris wheels. I'm going to basically call them that, with different uh, br bricks that we can pull. So what we got to do, from what I can understand anyways, is meet this one and this one into the middle here because that's the only place that they're gonna touch so basically it looks like we have to have one heavier and one lighter than the one that we're on and that should make these two go into the middle so let's lighten a load here and see what happens and see if my assumption is correct now that actually that's gonna no that's a problem because it's gonna rotate Wait, it might actually rotate around. So if we take off one here, we've taken off two here, one here, none here. That should make this one the medium weight. Unfortunately, I don't know how to get it to go over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to... I think I did the wrong size. I think not yours needs to be the light one, and then we should be good. Yeah, that was just a simple mistake. So we're going to take one out of this, and there we go. That should keep nice and balanced like that. So we have two out of this, one out of this. Same thing goes for over here. So I'm thinking it's this one. I'm really bad with puzzles, guys. Let me just say that and keep that one the same. We'll keep this one lighter. So now these are the same weight. We should... Are you serious? Right. There you go. Okay, I was like, is he really going to miss that? 
Ah, oh, all right, physics, man, it's fun. So yeah, every episode has a drastically different playstyle, and I gotta say, that is really, really cool. So what the heck? We got a fair belt going upwards here. Uh, I know, well, we have to probably do this to do that. Get your coffee, buddy, get your coffee. Now, we gotta somehow use this upwards pushing conveyor belt to do something here. Let's just see what happens when we, whoa, okay. I get it. So this is actually pulling up this whole thing. So, I guess what we have to do now is just unclog this because I tightened it. So if we pull this out, pull this out. Ah, oh, it's so easy. We just had to remove the, the bricks. I didn't expect it to push up the whole other platform. Okay, we got more conveyor belts. Now I noticed something. I was testing out this one. Obviously the salary man cannot run against a conveyor belt, but we have blocks that are big enough to actually pretty much totally stop this. At least we, we I was able to. There we go. You do have to play a lot with these things, I find. So now that one should be stopped. I guess we should do the same thing over here. Let's stop it on that side. Now I think all we need, yeah, this is this should be good. Now all we need to do is ignite this. And yes, okay. A lot of mechanics in these, man. I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, so I showed you guys a bunch of the early game, some of the middle game. Now I wanted to show you the final episode. We're on episode six now, and we are going to start with Tickle. Again, like I said, the uh, challenges get harder and harder. Now we have to deal with actual enemies. So this first one's gonna be ridiculously easy, but uh, I think you guys get the idea. We have to make sure that the enemies are not going to get into our line of sight, or they will indeed kill us, because they looked to be quite strong. Quite large, that is. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have the same idea here. It looks like for this one, is there... Yes, there's an empty hole underneath. Yeah, obviously underneath that. So basically, we have to drop this through uh, Well, it's at the right spot. So it looks like right here. Oh, that was a mistake. So yeah, it's all about timing on this one. Let's retry that again and go. Go, 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 go. Oh, he almost got me. There's not much room for error there, but uh, yeah, we did get him after all. Okay, now this is getting absolutely crazy. So what are we going to do with this one? So, oh, so that makes them walk. Does he... Okay, he walks up to a certain degree and then goes back down. So I have no idea what this is going to do for me, but maybe I think what I have to do is time this right. Let's just see what happens when I do all these, if my guy runs or not. Because I think I have to put these guys in one rhythm so I can run all the way through. And yeah, now that I see that we just have to open this up, I totally get this one. This is probably not going to work though because they're all over the place. We have to get them in one long line. So there we go. And when we're ready to go, which this is not going to work anyways, but we have to run through. Got it. So, what we have to do is time this right. So, basically, we want these guys to be walking at the same pace, or close to. I'm, I don't think we're ever going to get it perfect. But now, you can see, it's all about a time-based system here. This is a very awesome puzzler. Very complex. There we go. We got these guys walking pretty damn close together. I don't think I'm going to be here in time yet. Let's wait. Let's do this right. Okay, and pull that. There we go. And finally, pull that. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Now, we have... A lot of, well, not a lot of time, but we have to do this right. So, I think what we're going to want to do is go right now. Oh, 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 yeah. Run, buddy, run before you get caught. Oh, that was amazing. All right, what the heck is going on here? I wonder, you know what? Maybe I can lure him and drop this. Let's see what happens when we, oh. Okay, it's going the other way. I thought it was going down, so I thought I could maybe drop this on his head. Um... Oh, you know what? I think I totally get it. We just have to lift this guy up. So this shouldn't be too bad at all. Go. I'll just hit him right in the face. All right. There you go. You're up there. All right. And this is easy for me now. We can walk right by. This guy's stuck up top. And my salary man is ready to go. All right, guys. And I think that's a good crash course into what salary man escape is all about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, if you do want to know anything more about this game, there'll be two links at the top of the description. And I just want to thank Oasis Games for being very generous and sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.